Okay, here's the graph of y equals e to the x squared, this red curve, where I want to look at the region bounded by that curve and the lines x equal to the square root of 2, which is this vertical line, and x equals the square root of 3, giving us this region. And we want to revolve that region about the x, uh, about the y-axis, where x equals 0. Okay, and we want to use cylindrical shells. So picture a typical shell as parallel to the axis of revolution. These are like three black, very thin shells. And the formula that you use, the definite integral that you set up is 2 pi times, well, these shells are occurring from the square root of 3 to the, the square root of 2 to the square root of 3. The integrand is the height of the shell, which is e to the x squared, times the average radius. And the average radius is the distance from the axis of revolution to the center of a shell. So for each shell, each shell is x units to the right of the y-axis. And so the length of that average radius is the x-coordinate at the right, which is just an x, minus the x-coordinate at the left, which is always a zero. So that's what this is here, the average radius. And now it looks like we could use uh, u substitution to evaluate this definite integral. If we let u equal x squared, then du equals 2x dx. So if you picture moving this to into here, then there's the 2x dx. We can replace that with du, and e to the u becomes this. And the key is that when x equals the square root of 2, which was the bound, lower bound when we were in terms of x, then u is x squared, or 2. So there's what we want to evaluate. And that's pretty simple to do because antiderivative e to the u is e to the u. We want to evaluate that from 2 to 3 and multiply the result by pi. So it's pi times e cubed minus e squared. Okay, and you can get a decimal approximation for that if you wanted to. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.